Mark Frisco, uh, managing broker of Remax Elite in Kenosha. We're licensed in Illinois and Wisconsin. I'm licensed actually in Florida as well. So I have a pretty good perspective across a big range of areas that are uh, facing the issues lately. This is my 22nd year in the business. Everything centers around property owners' rights. And that's what we uh, center our ethics around. That's essentially the basis of the realtor motto, if you will, is landowner rights. What the NAR settlement essentially agreed to was that several things, actually. It's a, it's, it's a quite lengthy list. But one of the main points of the settlement agreement is that every realtor member that engages with a buyer to show a buyer properties will enter into a signed agreement that essentially dictates what those fees are for having a buyer's agent. One of the things that I like to remind everybody in that buyer's agency agreement, there's been essentially four lines that have changed in that document that we've had for decades. So we didn't have to invent the wheel. Um, or reinvent the wheel in some cases. Other states aren't so lucky. We're going to continue to offer, recommend to our sellers that we offer what we've always offered as competitive compensation for the work that a buyer's agent does. But we've always had that aspect of disclosing to a buyer how we would represent them. And Wisconsin does a really nice job of it, of giving that buyer an option. So that's one of the, you know, folklores about the whole settlement. Commissions have always been negotiable. There's never been a set commission. Whatever number they want to purport, there's never been a set commission. If there had been, we would have been shut down years ago for antitrust. That's taken very seriously amongst realtors. One of the most popular websites for disseminating those values, if you boil down into their information, it's at the bottom of the page, it's in small print, it's in very faint type. But if you boil down into their factual information, it will tell you the accuracy of their numbers for your marketplace. So the last time I looked at it, Kenosha had something like an 81% accuracy rate. So the numbers that that site is purporting for value of their property, 20% of the time they're wrong. Listing your home with a, with a realtor is always more beneficial, always brings a higher dollar amount to the seller. And that's a net number. That's not just a total number uh, with commissions, concessions included. That's a net number to the seller. We're often able to figure out uh, the best way to market a property, the best way to expose it to the biggest audience, whether that be a pricing strategy, whether that be uh, uh, through our professional photography, through our websites, through all of the marketing that we do uh, to expose the property to the highest and best audience to get that seller the best value that we possibly can uh, for their property. In terms of a buyer, representing a buyer, like I said, there's a lot of information online today for buyers to see, but it's confusing. And uh, again, in figuring out the best value for the property, if we're only working for a buyer, we're advocating for the buyer. If we're advocating for the seller, we're advocating for the seller. Um, it's like a boxing match. We're in their corner and we stay in their corner and we help them win. And that's what we feel our value brings to the table to either side, to buyers and sellers. Best way to get a hold of us is our website, maxelite.com. That's the, the best way to get a hold of us. Profiles of all of the agents are on the website. Um, our local number is 925-3000. Um, that gets to the main office and you can reach any of our agents from there. But the website's got profiles, bios, uh, direct links to everybody uh, on our website.